So uh, we started uh, early last year focusing on uh, this this change, and uh, actually the year before working on a path to this. Now, Troy, I understand you came from a manufacturing background before joining EG4. What kind of a challenge is it tooling up, ramping up to start producing tens of thousands of inverters here on U.S. soil? And uh, do you plan to manufacture both inverters and batteries? The smarter way to go solar. Hey everyone, Joe Ordi here for Solar Surge. Uh, we're coming to you again from InterSolar North America, which is the large solar conference here in San Diego. This morning, I'm sitting down with James Showalter, CEO and founder at EG4, as well as Troy Asbury, the new president here at EG4 Electronics. And we're, we're talking about, or what I'd really like to hear about is more of the investment in domestic content and domestic manufacturing. Yeah, Joe, thanks so much for asking that question. Uh, so uh, we started uh, early last year focusing on uh, this this change, and uh, actually the year before working on a path to this because of, I think I think it's always been something even before some of the, 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 the changes in policy were put in place. We, you know, we've been about building jobs in our community. Uh, we built 400 jobs in Northeast Texas in the town where I'm from already, just supporting and designing and testing and distributing the stuff. So. We've always been running that calculation, and uh, we acquired a 300,000 square foot factory in Commerce, Texas, just outside of Dallas, uh, that originally employed up to 700 people uh, and building medical devices. And so uh, we, we grabbed that early last year. We did a renovation. Uh, we put in a manufacturing line for our inverters and uh, testing uh, aging chambers and everything else. Uh, and then copied best practices from the original Asian manufacturer, uh, worked very closely with them, so we have an equivalent quality uh, device. And now we've got about 50 people employed on our production line, making all of our FlexMOS inverters and the 12,000 XP as well. Wow, wow. Now, Troy, I understand you came from a manufacturing background before joining EG4. What kind of a challenge is it tooling up, ramping up to start producing tens of thousands of inverters here on U.S. soil? Yeah, so there are a lot of different uh, issues when you scale up and go to production, particularly when you've been producing out of the country and coming back in. And the carrot and stick approach from the U.S. government has allowed us to walk through those challenges. But the biggest challenge with everything is finding the right people so that we can do a good quality job. And we think that in East Texas, we've got a good mixture of infrastructure. Uh, with that infrastructure comes uh, roads and things that need to get our uh, our components to us, and then the most important piece is to get uh, good people who have a good work ethic in-house and working and getting them trained up. So it's always the people piece that's the most challenging. Nobody has better work ethic than the farm community in East Texas. I completely agree. So with that infrastructure and those workers and the quality of work that we've done, uh, last year we did a little less than a thousand inverters. This year, in 2025, we expect to do about 30,000 inverters. So we've got good quality products, a good statistical process control to make sure that we can do a doctor stock program with those products and get them into our customers hands as soon as possible. That's great. So is, is it safe to say that by the end of 2025 EG4 will be a made in USA, fully made in USA product? Yeah, so uh, within that definition, majority components coming from the US, domestic content certified. So we will cross that made in USA threshold for the domestic content. Uh, I think I think in advance of the end of the year and uh, you'll hear more a lot of about a lot more than inverters being made there. That's right, we're, we're ramping and scaling up. That means we're hiring more. We've got, we started with 26. We've already doubled that to right a, a little more than 50 uh, today. And as long as we continue down this path and the, the U.S. government has made that easy for us, but James always tell us when, when those subsidies go away, we want to make sure that they're not necessary for us to continue our mission with creating jobs and manufacturing in the USA. That's great, that's great. And uh, do you plan to manufacture both inverters and batteries? In the coming future, we will do batteries. In fact, uh, we've got a partnership that's a little too early to talk about, but we will start in Q4 with our first uh, run on battery assembly in, in our commerce factory. And that will have American domestic content cells made in the United States uh, with a great warranty and a big, a big step up uh, you know, with an American quality process. 
Excellent, okay. excellent. So folks, this has been a quick chat with James Showalter and Troy Asbury. Uh, these are the head guys at EG4 Electronics. You guys asked us to do more EG4 content. Well, here we are hearing it straight from the horse's mouth. So be sure that you subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. We're gonna have a lot of content coming out this year about what EG4 is doing domestic manufacturing, domestic content, as well as the new products that they're rolling out here in 2025. But that pretty much does it for today's video. Gentlemen, thanks for some more time. Thanks, Joe. Really thanks, great. Thanks, Joe. Really. Appreciate you. Remember, power more with EG4. <laughs> Sounds good. Well, that does it for today's video. I thank you all for spending some more time on the channel. And as always, I'm Joe Ordia here, encouraging you to get prepared and be empowered. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you on the next video.